Thank you so much everybody. We have recently hit 10,000 subscribers. This is the Q&A video. If you haven't watched this celebration video, then watch that by clicking the i button because you don't want to miss special gifts and discounts. So now let's begin answering your questions. So John T has fired up a lot of questions. So let's go one by one. Question number one. At what age did you start learning Blender? I don't really remember when I started, but I was like 11 or 12 years old. Whose tutorial or course did you follow the most for environment creation? In the starting two to three years, I didn't take any paid courses, I just watched videos on YouTube. When I started out, I didn't understand English. So I remember that I mostly watched tutorials of a YouTube channel called Tutor for You because he speaks very clearly and slowly. When I started to understand a little bit of English, I also started to watch tutorials of CG Geek and Blender Guru. The first course that I took was Creating Environments in Blender by Rob Tidal on Udemy. Sorry if I mispronounced your name. And I haven't mentioned yet on this channel that Rob Tidal has hired me to answer the questions that the students are asking on Udemy. It's a great course if you want to learn environment creation in Blender. Okay, question number three. Who was your inspiration? I think that by who was your inspiration, you are trying to ask who inspired me to follow the journey, right? Since a kid, I've loved animated movies, but I didn't know how they were made and I didn't start learning it until my older brother installed Blender because he wanted to create 3D renders. He installed Blender because he couldn't get his hands on Maya. When he showed the renders that he created, I liked them, and I slowly, not immediately, got into learning it. Question number four. Do you specialize in hard surface modeling along with environment and lighting? I won't say that I specialize in hard surface modeling like those sci-fi machine type of models, but I do specialize in 3D modeling and I also model cars. Can we make a living out of Blender? Yes, definitely you can. Now to the next question. Red Bucket Archive asks, one plugin you can live without. It's Cycles. What? Yes, you heard me right. Cycles is an add-on. But I don't think that it was a fair answer. So after Cycles, for me, it has to be the Node Wrangler add-on. Google 3D World asks, what is the reason behind you becoming a 3D artist? What is your aim? So your first question, I've already answered that in the previous one. What is my aim, you ask? So I have a lot of goals, but I think that it all comes down to that I want to become so good at my work, that I want to become so good at my work, that yeah, I really just want to become so good at my work. <laughs> Renpa Archive again asks, how do you think of creating an artwork what are your inspiration resources sources sorry because i struggle a lot with the question what to make next if you ask for me i have so many ideas that i can't create every one of them but it can be a common problem for beginners if you are struggling to find ideas you can browse through pinterest or art station you can watch movies and of course you can go outside away from your computer in nature You can also just copy someone else's work, but don't post it online unless you've asked permission from them. If you do so, don't forget to credit the original creator. The next question is from Evie instead of how you started your journey and what's your inspiration and motivation. I've already answered, I've already answered how I started my journey using Blender in one of the previous questions. Speaking of what inspires and motivates me are a lot of things, but to name a few, Pixar, Marvel, Blender itself, and also 3D artists and creators like CG Geek, Blender Guru, Rob Tidal, sorry if I mispronounce your name again, Willem Landgren, Clean Jones, Gleb Alexandra, Super 3, Ian Hubert, and many more. And you guys are my motivation as well. What motivates me is the idea to bring my ideas into something that can be seen into something real. I know that it's not real, but it's believable. Ganiko XD 
how do you know about Blender and learn it? I've already answered this question in one of the previous ones, so I'm gonna move on to the next one. Anshuman Kushwe, how can we make money through Blender? So there's a lot of ways you can make money through Blender and I can't go through all of them in this video. So I'm gonna go through some of the ways you can make money through Blender and I'll also leave some links of videos for making money with Blender. So do check out the links down in the description box below. So the first method on my list is creating Blender tutorials on YouTube. You can monetize those videos by running ads on them. But it takes some time and a lot of patience to get there. You need at least a thousand subscribers and four thousand hours of watch time to monetize your videos. In the beginning, your videos are going to be very bad, but you don't have to quit. You have to keep creating and creating. And I know you'll be like, how do I create tutorials? I am not good enough for YouTube. I don't have the skills to teach, but you're wrong. The best way to learn about a subject is to teach it. And I've learned so much just by creating tutorials. It has forced me to learn things at a level that I wouldn't have if I didn't have to create tutorials. If you just have the basic knowledge of Blender, you can create tutorials. When you become more experienced creating tutorials on YouTube, you can also create paid courses like on Udemy or Skillshare. The second method on my list is creating 3D models and selling them. Now this one requires some research and a lot of practice. You don't want to create 3D models that no one needs. You want to create 3D models that people are searching for. That people need them but there aren't many of them. In the beginning, you can create 3D models in different genres. When you have generated some sales, you can analyze which one performs the best and create more models in that genre. There are sites like Sketchpad, CG Trader, and Topo Squid where you can sell your 3D models and also there's Blender Market for Blender. If you know how to code or you are interested in that, you can create an add-on for Blender that solves a problem and you can sell that add-on. The third method is freelancing. People can hire you to create something and will be paid for it. For this method, you need to have some skills and a good portfolio. But how do you find clients you ask? Well, there are sites like Fiverr and Upwork where you can find clients. If you already have an audience on a social media platform like YouTube, you can say for example that, hey, I'm a 3D artist and I'm looking for a paid work. So if you need me, then contact me. Now, in the beginning, it's very unlikely that people are going to come to you and ask you to do their work. So you don't have to wait for people to come. You can contact two companies, tell them what you do, show your work and let them know that you're open for work. Don't contact to a single person, contact to a lot of them. So even if one person hires you, then that's great. If you want to do freelancing, then I highly recommend you read this book called The Freelance Manifesto. A friend of mine recommended this book and, and, and now I'm recommending this to you. The next method is to create 3D renders and animations and setting them as stock images and videos on sites like Shutterstock. Now the last method I have on my list is selling art prints. You can put your art on sites like ArtStation as prints and if someone really likes your work then they can buy your art prints and put them on their walls. Now to the next question, Gyanendra333, how to get freelance work in Blender? <laughs> I've just answered this question in the previous one. MG Fantastic, who's your biggest supporter throughout your journey? Except you. I think it has to be my oldest brother and my older brother. Vavo Noon? <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce this. Why? Why 3D? Because before I was a 3D artist, I was a traditional artist like most kids are. But when I found out 3D, it didn't immediately become my priority, but it became slowly. So those were all of the questions that you guys sent in and thank you for being a part of my journey and for all of your love and support. If you haven't watched this celebration video then watch that by here and I'll be back next time.